Good morning and welcome to uh, Monty's Rugby Stuff. So I'm Monty and today I'm in my beautiful club, uh, Umumunu, in the Netherlands, in Middleburg. So today's uh, video is on actually setting up your rugby field. So anyone can set up the rugby field and when I say set up the rugby field, it's putting the flags out, what flags should go where and also about the pads that go around the posts. So um, through um, our club, so our club we have a, a um, awesome support team both doing the field itself and keeping everything clean. However, when it comes to setting up the field, the rugby field, anyone can do it. So it's not about um, getting the team out there, it can be supporters, it can be the, uh, the coach, it can be anything. And through, the, um, through this awesome thing here, so this is, our, this is our wheelie bin and this is full of our flags. So we've got about um, 800,000 flags in here um, that we use and they're all, they're all all over the place. However, I'm going to show you what we would use typically on a rugby field. So, these flags here. So these ones we'll be using for our, um, on the sideline, and we use them. I'll show you where. We use them on the halfway. And from the halfway to the 22 line, and as we go through these videos, we'll, we'll set up a field as well. We'll show you where a field is. But in the halfway, if you have a look. <clears throat> so in most clubs, they actually have... Um, places you can that are already set up for the flags themselves and this one should be set up to be um, sorry to be a, a meter away from the line and it's more for safety um, obviously the, a lot of play rugby is played on the field and you get taken out slid, sliding into poles etc and tackled so that's one of our flags Okay, so the next flag, and we'll go down, we'll take them down. So right now, this is for one half of a field. We have the tri-line flag, we have the dead ball, and we have the 22. So we'll take them down and I'll show you what we do with these. Alright, so the 22 flag is in. So when I say 22, a rugby field is split into... Uh, try line from the try line you have 22 meters out which is your next um, line on the field and that 22 line with the flag what it does it gives kickers um, it just it, it's literally showing you where the line the 22 line on the field lies um, it's good for if you're a kicker you actually know where you're kicking to if you're attacking and also if you're playing in the rugby field so there's 22 for a um, getting out of the 22 is is a safety area so 22 is a nice safety area where you can actually kick the ball out on the full we'll go through more on the rules but i'm just setting up the field for now so let's go to the try line flag and i'll explain what that one's about all right guys um this is the try line flag so there's um th this is a really important one that you need to um, be aware of if you're ever setting up a rugby field so these ones here are the ones you'd use on the sideline at the halfway, the 22 and the dead ball line. And the reason why is they're rigid and they don't move. The difference with the tri line one is, you'll see it, it bends. And the reason it bends is, if that's in the ground and someone slides into it and they break it, it becomes a sharp edge and it can actually do some damage to the player that's being tackled with a tackler. So that one always goes. They always go on the sideline or the dead ball line. So with this bad boy here, we always have a sheath that goes over the flag. Again, that's to protect it. And it will always bend. So we go straight into the ground, give it a squeeze down. And now that allows that person, if they're going to hit it, it's going to move and it's not going to hurt anyone. This is a biggie. This really is. Um, you put the wrong flag in, you're going to, you, you could hurt um, a player.
player accidentally, but it's still going to um, do some damage. Though the plastic will cut really bad. Okay, so last one, and this is an important one too, because this tells you where the scoring finishes. And as a referee, if they're not out and someone goes over that dead ball line, you'll never know. So I'll flip the camera around. No, I won't because I don't know how to. So that's how that's it there, the dead ball line. And that's giving you um, also for when you're running defense or running attack where your safety is. Here's your try line. And as we go up, we've got the other flags out there too. Okay, so the last one for our, and that goes right around the field. So it goes both sides and the opposite side of the field as well. So you'd end up with how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can end up with 16 flags on a field. And anyone can do it. That's, that's what this video is about. It's nice when a coach or a team turn up and all, need, all they really need to worry about is going out there um, doing a little bit of training before the game and everything's set up for them, it really is. So this next one is boom. So these bad boys here, what they'll usually come with, and I'll just give you a quick shimmy, they'll come with the club name and usually a um, advertisement on there. They also come, a lot of them, and these go around the post. So this bad boy here will go around the post and it's got a Velcro um, Velcro seal. Some have zips, I haven't seen many of the zips, but um, you got to think about it. If you're going to buy something like this, you don't, I personally wouldn't go for a zip. You've got the wind, you've got the rain, you've got the dirt getting in the zip. Um, most of the time now it's, it is Velcro and um, yeah, I would suggest that's the that's the best one to go for. So I'm going to set up and I'll show you how to put these bad boys on. See you soon. Boom, I'm back. Okay, so the key about putting these bad boys on is our uh, our post protector. So we're under the posts. Now what we do is they'll always open up like this. Okay, we wrap the posts. Okay, and then we just simply Velcro these bad boys on. This one's getting a bit rough, but never mind, it's still working. Okay, so once the Velcro's on, and it's all good, as a coach and as um, part of the club, you'll notice I'm looking at the um, posts. It's all up and down, it's there. But we always want to, and this is just me personally, but I think it's good for them, is we always want our club name facing the field, but also the Velcro is at the back. And it's away from where the players will hit. So, kick that bad boy away. When you're playing, and when the other opposition are playing, you'll always see your team. Boom, 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 boom. We've got the club, and that's the best way to go for me. Uh, the advertising, they'll always see it in pictures and everything. And you'll see you've got the advertising here, and you've got it here as well. But always, always get your club name facing. You've got to be proud of your club. I'm proud of my club. Um, 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 I'm extremely proud of it. And whenever I can, I'll always promote them. And that's the best way to promote them. It's nice and easy. And like I said before, anyone can do this. I, I, I actually enjoy setting the field up as a coach because then I can walk around the field. Um, you walk around, you, you can see what's going on in different parts of your field, seeing if it's too wet in some areas, etc. But And it's just a nice walk. <laughs> I mean, it really is. Um, I'm an ex-player and I always love to play on the green. So walking around it and waiting for my boys to get on there and enjoy it, knowing that they've only had to come and get changed, warm up and then play, uh, it's, it's a bonus for them. So that's my setup for the field. So we've got halfway, I think you can see it. You've got our 22, 
try line with our safety. I've got a chair there because I use that as a prop, don't worry about that. And I've got a dead ball line. And that goes right around the field. And then we've got our pads. So thank you for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button because we're going to carry on doing it next week. Um, next week I'm going to go up into the club rooms and show you what goes off up on there. And that's um, every Thursday night after our trainings we have a, have a feed. And I want to show you the people that actually look after us. And for me, for me they're the most important people. Keeping us fed on a Thursday night lifts the morale of the team. It lifts the morale of the club. So next week come along to Monty's Rugby Stuff and we'll um, get into that. Till then, kakite.